Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for my upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be creating two demo side tables with different shapes but similar styles for one of my clients that lives by the sea. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. For my first DIY side table, I'll be using a strong produce box. Next, I'll be using strong foam board to make my table top. Next, I'll be placing my produce box on top of the foam board and then I'll be tracing it and cutting it out using my box cutter. Next, I'll be using metallic silver wall decals and I'll be using six and I'll be using these to cover my foam board cut out. And all I did was peel them and then apply them. For this DIY, I will not be given sizes because this will depend on the size of box that you will plan to use. Because this is vinyl, it's easy to maintain clean. Once I was done, I set it aside. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. I used the same strong foam board to cut two sides to fit my produce box and I also repeated the same steps for the back side and the front side. I needed a half circle so I'll be using this half hula hoop and all I did was place it on the bottom of the foam board and then I traced it and I used my box cutter to cut it out. I repeated the same steps for the back side of my table. For my sides, I'll be using this 18 inch round tray and I repeated the same steps. Once I was done, I'll cover all my pieces with white and gray marble contact paper. I'll be using these circular acrylic mirror cutouts and these are easy to use just snap them and they come in different sizes and they also come with a protective film but I'll be leaving it on to prevent fingerprints. I will also be using them in royal blue. For the remainder of this DIY I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. These mirror cutouts are self adhesive but I'll be using my strongest glue sticks for a better hold. I'll be removing the protective film as I go. I'll be alternating the colors as I go and these you may place them in any design pattern you like or you may follow mine. And just for FYI, I'll be repeating the same steps on the front and the back side of the table. This DIY video did take a little longer to post due to my client not receiving her demo tables but now that she received her demo tables I was given the approval to post the DIY video. Next I'll be using mirror mosaic tiles and I'll be using single strips and I'll be peeling them and applying them on the bottom edge of my cutout. I also repeated all the same steps for the sides of my table. 
Next, I'll be using 18 inch painter sticks and I'll be using these for my table legs. Next, I'll bring back my produce box and I'll start applying hot glue around the edges of my painter sticks and then I'll be gluing them in an angle and I'll repeat the same steps on all four. Next, I'll be using pieces of cardboard and I'll be applying hot glue on both sides and applying them next to the painter's sticks on both sides and I'll repeat the same steps on all four. And just for FYI, this is another easy way to keep your legs strong and sturdy and hold them in place without screwing in corner brackets. I'll continue gluing in pieces of cardboard to make my table much stronger and sturdy. Once I was done, I'll apply hot glue on my table top and then I'll glue on my foam board cutout. Next, I took foam board cut to size and I'll be covering it with this shimmering royal blue fabric. Next, I took my cutout and I placed it on top and I glued it from the back side. Once I was done, I glued it to the front side of my table. I repeated the same steps on the sides and on the back. Here's how it looked on the sides and on the back. I also applied mirror strips around the edges and mirror mosaic towels on the top edges. For my second DIY side table, I'll be starting off with three metal coffee containers. Next, I'll be gluing on the lids on all three. Once I was done, I'll start applying hot glue on the bottom side and I'll start gluing them stack high. Once I was done, I'll be applying duct tape for a better hold. Next, I took this hard 18 inch plastic tray and this hard plastic flat tray and I spray painted on both metallic silver. I only spray painted one side of each tray because I'll be using one for my table top and one for my bottom base. Once it was dry, I took my bottom base and I placed my coffee containers in the center and then I traced it and applied a generous amount of hot glue and then I glued it on. I repeated the same steps for my tabletop. Next, I took a large cardboard box and I rolled it as tight as I could. Once I was done, I wrapped it around my table and I glued it in place.
I took duct tape and applied it going around for a better hold and then I covered it with poster board. Once I was done, I covered it with the same shimmering royal blue fabric and I started gluing it from the top edge and I repeated the same steps on the bottom side. This fabric does stretch, so as I was gluing it, I was stretching the fabric. You can find royal blue poster boards in craft stores, but I wanted the background to be white. I also glued on diamond wrap around the top and bottom edge. I also glued on a design in front of my table with the acrylic mirror cutouts to make it look like the bubbles are floating from the bottom up to the surface. And for the top of my table, I'll be using an 18 inch round mirror. If you wish to recreate both DIYs or one, you may also use a barrel or a box to get the same designs. For my third DIY, be starting off with foam board. I will also be using embroidery hoops in three different sizes. I'll start with my 8 inch and I'll place it on the edge of the foam board and I'll trace a half circle. Next I'll take the 10 inch and I'll place it over and I'll trace it. Next I'll take my 4 inch and I'll place it in the center towards the edge of the foam board and I'll trace the center. I'll be freehanding the beak. And if you haven't figured out by now, I'll be making a fish and I'll use my box cutter to cut it out. Once I was done, I covered it with mirror reflection paper. Once I was done, I trimmed off the rest using my scissors. And to cover the edges, I use single strips of diamond wrap. And for the eyes, I use a large diamond gem. I also spray painted the back side. My second fish, I spray painted both sides and I'll be applying blue crushed glass around the edges of the fish. I'll be applying hot glue to hold my crushed glass in place and I apply it also around the beak and also in the fins and the tail. I took a 5 inch round mirror and I removed it from the frame and I also took a 6x6 six six square bow and I'll be taking seashells and I'll take all my pieces and spray paint them metallic silver. Next I'll be taking this metallic dessert bow and my soldering iron and I'll be making a hole in the center. Once I was done, I put it aside and I'll be working on my fish. I'll be gluing on the acrylic mirror cutouts onto the back side of the fish. And I'll be removing the protective film as I go. I didn't have a design in mind when gluing my acrylic mirror cutouts, so I just wanted them to look like bubbles. I lost the clip when gluing the skewer on, but all I did was took a large skewer and covered it with mirror paper. Next, I took a piece of styrofoam block and I'll be gluing it inside the dessert bowl. Once I was done, I took a piece of foam board, cut it to size and glued it on. Once I was done, I glued it on top of my mirror using a generous amount of hot glue. Next, I took my cutout by the skewer and I'll be placing the skewer inside the hole, pushing it down gently and then I'll apply hot glue to hold it in place. Next, I took my seashells and I started gluing them onto the dessert bowl in no particular order. I repeated the same steps on my second fish. Really do love the way both demo side tables turned out, especially the royal blue with the marble. My client loves them too, now she can make up her mind which one she would like, either both or one. Which one do you prefer? Leave a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite.
A lot of you have asked me in the past, what do I do with my DIY projects after I complete them? A lot of my projects are demos for clients that I have a side business. I do the demos and I send them out to my clients. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy all three DIYs as much as I enjoy creating them. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notifications for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.